hi everyone i hope that you are doing awesome it's been a long time that i am not with you i was busy with my offline commitments but uh, don't worry i am not going to leave you all definitely i will be uploading the current affairs of telangana very regularly the plan of my starting on the whiteboard has been halted again because of various reasons of course time management has become a very important and very significant problem to me but still whatever i can do i am trying to make it happen so today we are going to learn we are going to learn so telangana current affairs of 1920 21 2019 presented by me sayyid shujatullah okay so this three dates current affairs we are going to see only it's 22nd 23rd and today is 24 three days we have to complete that i will do day after tomorrow all the five days at a time so don't worry about it so we are going to see current uh, crack tg exams bullet gk all whatever i am uh, generally explaining to you all will be present in www.cracktgexams.com website so you are having around 8 to 9 months of current affairs monthly pdfs along with practice mcqs are there you can buy it from that also if the students who are watching me for the first time they can visit that website and have a look over it that also you can do or else the very common thing you have to record you have to take uh, note down all the points whatever is there on my slides that is also enough fine so we are going to see the crack tg exams bullet gk gk so let us see what is it so komaram bheem project it is one of the irrigation project the place of this komaram bheem project is very important located in komaram bheem asifabad district so it's not compulsory that he will also give you komaram bheem asifabad district if he just give you asifabad district also you will get confused so that's why i have clearly mentioned you this komaram bheem whatever the irrigation project is there it is located in asifabad district very important the next point is very very important bhatti vikramarka after being elected as the congress legislature party okay after being elected from this congress legislature party he has been appointed as a leader of opposition he has been appointed what as a leader of opposition in telangana assembly recently very very important okay so appointment of uh, mr bhatti vikramarka as the leader of opposition in our telangana assembly has also created a history the history is that here i have written he created a history of sorts as the first dalit okay as the first dalit who has occupied this position in our state in our state not only in our separate telangana state when the state was combined nothing but from 1956 to june 2nd 2014 also we were with uh, andhra pradesh state okay united andhra pradesh state so in the total period also from 1956 to 2014 never was uh, the time where a dalit was uh, uh, what uh, elected as uh, or the uh, dalit was appointed as a leader of opposition this is a very first time happened in our telangana history not only in our history it was also the same with the combined andhra pradesh okay when we were existed very very important that is a another distinction attached to this particular person chief minister chandrasekhar rao okay honorable our chief minister of our state has also in instructed the officers of roads and building department roads and building department it is one of the office of the government that generally construct what roads that generally provides what connectivity to different parts of our state okay so he has instructed our cm has instructed this roads and building department to complete all the uh, to ensure that every road is in perfect shape okay it is not having any potholes manholes okay it is not rigged it is not broken it is not unconnected it should not be in this way so within 2 years the total state roads have to be in good shape that is what he has in instructed to the officers of roads and building department governor esl narsimhan has recently conducted the joint session of telangana 
legislature so this was happened on 17th on 17th january of this month okay governor esl the governor of our telangana state is esl narsimhan he conducted what a joint session the state government of telangana has taken many steps many initiatives okay as of now few are discussed in this particular lecture the very first one that i wanted to discuss with you is the state government is still trying hard okay in order to achieve certain objectives which i have listed here the state is so i am reading it please concentrate on the slide the state will continue to press for the implementation of 33% reservation to bcs 33% reservation to women in legislatures and 10% women sorry 10% reservation to sts and 12% reservation to minorities and for sc categorization for which assembly forwarded the resolution to the center so with regard to sc schedule caste what percentage should be given and who comes under the sc that particular whatever the data is there it is given to the center and they will analyze it and they will come to a conclusion that what percentage should be given to sc right now they have clearly mentioned that they wanted to provide 33% of reservation to bcs backward classes 33% reservation they wanted to give to women that is finalized 10% reservation to sc finalized sts finalized 12% reservation to minorities so this is our government aim with regard to sc it will be soon announced okay what percentage is new zonal regulation with regard to this zonal regulation you can watch in my previous videos i have done the total chart okay the criteria of zonal regulation what districts comes under which zone okay i have given a proper lecture on the white board to you please watch my previous video if you want to know more about zonal videos in detail now the information has come with regard to that i am explaining it new zonal regulation the governor of our telangana said that recruitment recruitment in telangana would take place in accordance with the provision of new zonal regulation our new zonal regulation means our state is divided into different different zones okay in the sense that the our state is having at present seven zones are there and two multi zones are there here i have written seven zones and two multi zones are there okay was created was created to get 95% of opportunity in all the local cadre jobs in all the local cadre jobs means locally like clerk level assistant level like that not at the level of officers okay thus whatever the jobs which are open in that particular zone 95% of that jobs will be given to the local people the uh, the job should be of local cadre low level cadre so very important so our zonal system whatever is created by our telangana government it is having seven zones and two multi zones and uh, on the basis of uh, this zone and locality criteria only jobs will be given to the students the real fruits of achieving separate telangana would be realized only when the local locals get employment opportunities our cm has said okay and the cm has also reiterated and also said to the or declared to the uh, what declared to the assembly that our state has achieved around 17.17% growth in gdp for four years and 29.93% in the current fiscal year we are still in the fiscal year of 2018 to 19 so we are in january only february should complete and march should complete then the a uh, financial year of 2018 to 19 will be completed whatever it is the a uh, generally a government will be there for 5 years since last 4 years our economy of telangana has registered a growth rate of 17.17% in this fiscal the last final year okay so it has registered a growth rate of 29.93% very very good so far and the uh, reasons which were cited was innovative policies of the government and fiscal discipline of the state has made it possible has made it possible okay 
then power sector what government is doing in the power sector on the power front the government is constructing a new plant to convert telangana as a power surplus state so uh, generally telangana is considered as a state which is having less power or power deficit state so with the a lot of initiatives have been uh, in, uh, what uh, introduced or started by the government of telangana to make our state power surplus which is given here to convert telangana as a power surplus state to bring 28000 megawatt of installed capacity of power and 1080 megawatt bhadradri power plant is also going to commence commence okay of its full capacity and 4000 megawatt yadadri ultra ultra mega thermal power plant is also uh, they are going to, it is going to be completed very soon the works are in on the fast track means they are happening very very fast so when everything whatever the data whatever i have mentioned on this slide if all that megawatt of energy or power has been generated in our state to its full potential then telangana will become a power surplus state okay it made a mark in non conventional energy also it here is telangana telangana has also made a mark in non conventional energy by generating 3613 megawatt of solar power 3630 megawatt of solar power remember one thing conventional sources of energy non conventional sources of energy what is the difference conventional means convention means over a period of time okay since medieval times or since early modern times since present times whatever have we the fuels we have been using to generate electricity they are called as convention they are called as convention because as a convention we has been we have been using it non conventional energy resources are those resources which has been not been uh, in the picture since many decades like that okay so it has been actually not used non conventional energies has actually been not used in medieval in the early modern times in the present times like that in the present time only in the present times we are using what non conventional energy sources just such as solar such as geothermal such as biogas these whatever the sources of energy are there no they have been never used by our ancestors okay so only the conventional sources of energy we have been we have used and we have been using still but you see that new energies are also there those are called as non conventional sources of energy so telangana has did a very great thing with regard to generation of uh, non conventional source energy and to a tune of 3613 megawatt it's a very huge power capacity that we have developed with regard to non conventional energy that is solar that is solar some schemes were given in that particular dates which i am going to discuss now schemes of telangana first one is kg to pg kg to pg very very important one you can write this particular kg to pg scheme with regard to initiatives of the telangana government in education sector or oh, and it can also be written with regard to what elevating poor people from the poverty it can also be written there welfare measures taken by the government for bpl population it can also be written over there this particular kgpg is very important for many topics remember this kg to pg under this education policy of the government of telangana we are going to set up 542 new residential schools with all facilities for sc st bc and minorities so residential schools has been constructed okay are under construction for all the communities whatever are vulnerable is there in our telangana and another 119 would start in the next academic year that is from june that is from 542 residential schools has been under construction and 119 will be taken up in the next academic year that is on from the june academic generally june july or the academics new academics year another important you all know that with regard to kcr kids i have i had a very lengthy discussion also when the news actually came so kcr kid it it can be written again in the social welfare initiative it can be Uh, what uh, uh, can be uh, uh, can be written 
also on the welfare measures taken for women it can this particular scheme can also be written in the uh, schemes for the vulnerable section of the society or poor section of the society and this scheme could also be written, written at uh, health initiatives taken by the telangana government health initiatives taken by the telangana government if you listen to me again and again now you will understand where where i want you to write all these things so pause rewind again and see what uh, where you can write okay so you make a column of it so that you can remember that i have told you that you can use this particular schemes in different different places so you will grasp it if you take a note of it health and medical services also got a boost with kcr kits for what purpose to improve institutional deliveries the deliveries the baby okay the newly baby which are born if they are uh, if they are born in the hospitals if they are born in the government hospitals or private hospitals or any institutional setup where you are having compounder where you are having doctor under the supervision of any trained medical practitioner is there no okay then it is called as institutional deliveries okay to improve institutional deliveries and more free health camps with diagnostic services would be organized to get health profile of every individual in the coming months so that is what we are going to do in tcr kids the more of it you can watch in my previous videos food processing has been giving a lot of push from the telangana government food processing remember one thing processing is nothing but the food the is going from one stage to another stage another stage to another stage every stage some value is added every stage some value is added and the food at one stage will not be same in the last stage it will undergo lot of different forms in taste in texture in shape etc such as milk is there milk can be converted into curd okay so uh, milk is very 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 much liquid curd is not that liquid right it is a little bit semi semi liquid you can say then if you can make it cheese also you can make it faluda you can make it lassi so what you are doing you are using one particular food and it is going under different different process that's what we call it as food processing that is what we call it as food processing it is also same with tomato sauce etc okay take tomatoes and mix many things in that and make a sauce so food this tomato is a food is a crop which has moved from one state to another state every stage the value is addition because tomato whatever you bought in the first stage may be pricing 10 rupees per kg and when it is made into tomato sauce value addition will happen and the sauce will not be of 10 rupees remember this it will be of 50 or 60 rupees like that so value will be added each each and every stage okay that is what is called as food processing so government of telangana is given a lot of importance to this food processing units the government said food processing units would be established across the state to ensure remunerative prices to the farmers and they would be jointly run by government and ikp employees and women groups so the homework for you all today is what is the full form of ikp what is the full form of ikp please do write in the comment box so interaction will make me more enthusiastic to make more such videos for you all thanks a lot have a nice day bye bye